destiny wins. Destiny wins for you guys and let the good times roll in. That is what I'm hearing for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Scorpio. You may have felt an inner calling, whether that is to a new career, a new location, and some of you it's a new relationship on any level. It was destined and they're telling me you could feel it. You could actually feel it. Maybe it was from the first time you saw this person uh, or this experience, you knew, you saw it in a magazine. You said, that's it. That's where I'm going to live. That's the company I want to work for. That is exactly what you've been looking for. Yeah, I'm the Queen of Pentacles right here, and that is what they're saying. Open up, because what you've been through is going to bring you to a place of security. So let the good times roll in, because the Queen of Pentacles, now this could be a Virgo, Taurus, a Capricorn individual, but Scorpio, whoever this person is, is absolutely a perfect pairing for you if it is a person. This is a job. It's an earth job. This is like working in nature. Some of you I see, it's like, uh, I hear firefighting, firefighting, and I see the forest out there. So it's working in the forest, building homes in the forest. It does have to do with construction, building, cleaning up materials, cleaning up the land. Okay, so environmental issues. If we can go so deep, Whatever it is that you have been feeling that call to destiny, this is what I feel I'm supposed to do, go for it. That's what they're saying. Make sure that you do your research, okay? Now, you came out right here as the Knight of Swords. Now, this could be for some of you who are bordering that Libra energy, which is a very beautiful combination, Scorpio and Libra. I find that appealing as all can be. Because there's a sense of, of brilliance, the intellect attached to this beautiful, romantic individual who can express themselves very well. And that hold, holds uh, so much power to be able to express yourself. Many people cannot do what you can do. So whatever this is, is going to be dynamic for you. And if you are partnering with somebody who may be of that, those zodiac signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or the earth signs, it doesn't matter what their sign is, it's going to be beautiful, and here's why. To be in direct alignment, I mean, obviously, we've got to have our chakras all in alignment and all cleared out. You guys know I'm an energy healer, psychic medium. I bring all of this guided messages that I hear for you, but you must connect to the air and the earth. You can't just connect to earth, then you won't hear and feel and have all that beautiful connection. And you can't just connect to the air, okay, and not have the earth because then it's way up here. And we can often be kind of out there like a lot of uh, creativity expansion, but we want to bring it into the earth. So with the creativity expansion, we bring it right down here on earth. And that's why these two cards are absolutely incredible for you. This is your destiny. This is coming in. Now, for a lot of you, I feel you went through some horrific uh, experiences. All right. You may actually be starting from scratch. Like you may have had your world crumble around you. Things just started falling apart. Card of destiny right here. Nothing happens by chance. Okay. Nothing happens by chance. That little page of cups. That is representing Scorpio. It's your destiny. So whatever you went through led you to rebuild, led you to start seeing the bigger picture. The things you thought were important are not important. The things you thought were minor are not minor. They are really important. So the opposite, and we've seen that over the past few years through all of the experiences in life, because the last three years has been very profound in that we have seen the reality of things that were always there all along. We have this four of swords. You had to go through this change. You know, this change was a lot, the tower card. And if you didn't, you may be going through it right now. But I feel for the majority of you, you've already been through it. You are on the brink of coming into this new place of actually building. We'll get to this in a second. But you had to go through the tear down. You had to remove things. You had to get rid of your things that don't, don't work for you anymore. Donating, throwing it away, giving it away. Uh, 
escalating into a new plateau. That's what I just heard for you. You have to rest. You have to rest your mind. You had to let go of all this stuff. And it was hard. And they said, but what, and then what they just said is it's escalating you into a new plateau. So as we clear out energies inside of us, our energy fields, and we have energy blockages, we clear out that blockage. Now it's open and we want to put the good stuff in. That's what's going on for Scorpio. You're putting the good stuff in there. So they're saying, let the good times in. Let it in. Fill up your heart. Fill up your mind with beautiful, beautiful things. And all is en route to you as soon as you are uh, doing this. This is going to be very, very good. Now with this three of pentacles right here, this is a team uh, partnership. This is you getting a new career where you actually blend in with that unit. If you were working for another organization and you felt like you just didn't fit in, this new job, no matter whether you left or they made you leave, this new one coming in is going to be amazing. You have the card of abundance defining it with the detail and that is saying it is going to be abundant, meaning anything you want is going to come to you, but you've got to believe in it. You've got to take that action and that's what you've done. So it's really amazing energy that's coming through for you guys. Um, and before I go on, I just want to stop for a second and let you know I'm going live. Um, I haven't been live in a long time. I took a really long hiatus and we're back, right? We're back. Uh, Wednesday, October 25th at 1030 Central Time. That's when I will be going live. That's just in a, a couple days from recording this video. But let's keep going here. We're going to look a little bit deeper for you guys. I hope to see you at that live, all right? Oh, yeah, look at that. We've got the Fool card, and definitely the Fool card is taking a, a new direction, taking a leap of faith. But, see, you've done the research. Now, you may have taken a leap of faith in the, in the, in the past, and that didn't turn out so right, so good for you, so right for you. Uh, it was in the wrong direction as far as you're concerned. But, again, that's what led you to remove and clear things out. People, places, Things. All of this stuff is being cleared out for you now. And with that clear out comes that opening spot to allow this Ace of Pentacles to move right in. So you could be dealing with an Aries for some of you, but let's take a look at whomever or what the details are of this situation a little bit more. So Scorpio, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I've missed you guys, and I'm so glad to be back. I'm doing a lot of new things for you, and I will put, uh, uh, I'll be announcing that on Wednesday, and let's go ahead and keep going. Yeah, you had a transformation, you see? And this represents you, the death card, the ending of what was and turning it into something different. You've transformed. You have literally transformed, and if it isn't you, it's whoever is around you, whether this be your romantic partner, a business associate, a family member. Most of you, it is you. It may have even been you that created a self-sabotaging energy that made you flip upside down. I don't know why I'm seeing a swing, okay, a swing, um, a swing. You may have swung into, jumped, jumped the leap of faith, Swung into it a little too fast. Uh, some of you, it has to do with an old farmhouse looking environment, a large piece of property with um, a beautiful tree that has a swing on it. And a little girl is swinging. Let me know if that resonates with you and I'll let you know if that vision comes up or any more detail on that vision as well as others. But this transformation that you're going through is amazing. Look at that. Look. Ace of Wands. You see, it's putting you in a place of feeling victorious. You made the changes. You've done the research. You've done the work. The, being the fool doesn't mean being foolish. Absolutely not, unless you're silly. And I think that may have been something you used to do or maybe the person you were around. You know how to do it better than anybody because you are Scorpio. If you're the magic card, right? To me, you're one of the cards, uh, a, a card, you're the magic zodiac. And you're one of them out of a few that have this ability to move in and out very quietly if you choose to. 
or with all eyes on you. It's like you have this magical way of getting things to you in a way that other zodiac signs may not be able to do. I hope that resonates with you. Now, I want to call it magical, but in actuality, that's part of your spiritual purpose and attachment to your zodiac sign. So the universe works with you in that way because you understand how to do it. This right here may have thrown you out of the loop, saying, questioning everything, everything around you. And then you had to take a step back with that four of swords to go through this new change. But it's going to be incredible. So, you know, the Ace of Wands is doing something that is so exciting. If you've been dull and boring or your partner, uh, let me see. I'll, I'll look at the partner in a second. Okay. I, I'm, not, I didn't, I'm not necessarily doing love. I'm doing separate love readings, but I'll, I'll see who your partner is, Scorpio. If you've been dealing with somebody where there's no fire in the pit, <laughs> that's what they're saying. There's no fire in the pit. Um, whatever change you're making is going to light that fire back up again. Let's see. Let me pull. Now you could be, you know, involved with a fellow scorpion and the other ones, a Taurus for some of you, it's a Taurus staying true to your uh, relationship, staying true to your belief systems between each other. But you have the King of Pentacles. Now you have the Queen of Pentacles in the beginning of this reading. So that's the pair. That's who we're talking about in Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, and that may be in your chart, but I feel for a lot of you, whoever this person is, they see you as somebody secure. Your partner, whether there has been any communication that works, uh, maybe even silent, but they watch you. They watch you all the time and they see you move around all the time, move around. They watch you through the house. They watch you when you leave. They look for you when you come home. I don't mean spying in a negative way. They miss you. They literally miss you. You are their security. So sometimes it could feel like they're a little bit needy, um, but really, they want to make sure that you're safe. They want to make sure that you're okay because you're the rock in the relationship. You are the rock in the relationship. So let me pull a card for you and then I'll pull an angel message as well. So I hope you guys are doing really great. It has been quite an interesting year for sure. We'll talk more about that in the live. You have the card of courage. All right. And that's exactly what this whole reading is about is, you know, destiny wins and, and just let it come in. That takes courage because you don't necessarily know what is coming in. We have no control with the universe. When we allow it to just flow naturally, it'll just come in. It'll, it'll come in. It'll come in. It may not look the way we thought. It may not be the person we thought. It may not be the location we thought, but it is going to be better than what we thought. Because we're open to it, we will wind up exactly where we're meant to be. Find the inner strength to face new fear with confidence. So if you're afraid of these changes, look again. Look again. If you need to do more research, do more research, Scorpio. But these changes are coming in to actually benefit you. And they're saying, let it come in. Call upon your guides, your guardians, your angels. Call upon all of the beautiful beings of love and light to guide you through this next segment of your life. You're starting a new chapter. A new chapter. And everything you do today is going to move forward. Now, this one got bitten by Captain Lovebuck. He ate it. So there is a hole in it. But let me read it to you. Adriana. I am healing you and leading you toward assurance in your prayers. Listen and follow the steps that I'm communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. Adriana, you have guides that are always around you. The guardians, the guides, whatever you call those beautiful uh, beings of love and light. They are there for you. And Scorpio, this is going to be absolutely an amazing time. Thank you for watching. Much love.